me your thoughts on Captain America, Papa. Captain America? Captain America. Captain America? <laughs> Ooh! That he's movie. Like, he's like totally awesome, and I enjoyed <laughs> watching it with you. Yeah. I haven't seen it before. Have you seen it before? Yes, I have. Did, did your opinion change? Huh? Did your opinion change from the last time oh, you watched no. it to this time? No, I, I think it's a very good movie. I did the first time I saw it. And I, this was like the probably the third or fourth time I watched it. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a lot of times. Yeah. No, there's others I've watched more. <laughs> Who's your favorite Avenger, Papa? Who's my favorite Avenger? Yes. Oh, man. I really like Iron Man. I've heard that. I don't think I've seen any of the Iron Man movies yet. Yeah, you <laughs> any will. of them. You're I mean, I've seen him in other stuff, yeah, but not them. the... But yeah, I think... You know, whatever you think about... Yeah, I think it's Iron Man. Okay. I could be wrong. Nah, I'm not wrong. Not wrong on your own opinion? What do you think, Archer? Who's your favorite Avenger? Thanks for that. He likes Pant Guy. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of the movie, Nana? Oh, it was okay. Why? I just wanted it before. You know that, don't you? I assumed so. Papa said he's watched it three or four times. Yeah. So. But like I said, I hadn't caught the very first part of it because I didn't realize that was part of the same movie. I was trying to figure out why why they were digging him out of the ice on if it was supposed to be the first one. Yeah. So, but then I caught it. And we're back with the green wall. It is, what's today? I should know. It's Sunday. August the 4th at 9.17 p.m. Um, I didn't really vlog this week. I got that clip that you just saw of me working on my reading bullet journal. I was thinking about using that as just my TBR video. I thought that'd be cute. I like those kind of videos and I was very proud that I figured out how to like film down at the table, but I don't really know if my thread, my thread, I don't really know if my spread was interesting enough to be its own video. Also I had some things I wanted to say, so I decided I'm just gonna film a separate TBR video, which I was gonna do today, but then I didn't feel like it, so I'm gonna do tomorrow after work because I get off at noon. So I'll film that and have it posted soon. So I just figured I'd put that clip and this beginning clip and then just film through next Sunday and post all of that, and hopefully after that clip. Gosh, I hope so. But I wanted to give a little update. I've been reading Wilder Girls so far this month. If you saw my TBR before this, which I'm really hoping you did, uh, you'll know I'm reading this for the Barnes & Noble YA Book Club pick for August. The meeting is on Thursday night. Um, I'm really, really hoping that someone comes. No one came last month and I was sad. And I'm actually really enjoying this so far. I really like the writing style. I'm on page, let me check, let me check. 133, and I've read, okay, I read three pages at the beginning and I was like, I think I'm gonna really like this. I really like like apocalyptic um, stories and I really like stories with good voice and like feminist stories. I have an arc because I'm reading it for the book club and I got it from work and it has like a little spiel about the feminist themes in it and I was like I could see that. I could get behind it. That is what's happening. I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible definitely before Thursday but I have like 10 books on my TBR that I need to read this month so hopefully Hopefully I can get it done a couple days before then. Maybe like by Tuesday? How many pages are actually in this book? 357. So I'm about a third of the way there. So maybe, maybe. I'm going to read a little bit before I go to sleep. I also, I want to see if I can do this with one hand, have a little book haul to share because my Hilda books came into Barnes & Noble and I bought them. So I'm just going to show them all real fast because I love them and I think they're adorable. So we've got Hilda and the Troll. And then we have Hilda and the Midnight Giant. Hilda and the Bird Parade, Hilda and the Black Hound, and Hilda and the Stone Fort. Let me tell you, the next book comes out sometime this fall. And um, yeah, so I gotta get, I gotta get those read. I could probably read them all in one day. I did uh, make an order from Book Depository from uh, the Reading Rush like discount page on the last day. So I should be getting those. I think they shipped it in three separate packages. So when I get those, I'll try to remember to show them on the vlog. Um, I'm going to try to do better about vlogging this week. This week, I mainly only work in the mornings until the weekend. So hopefully we can uh, get a lot of reading done to like kind of boost up this, um, this these two readathons that I decided to participate in. Hello, friends. It's um, Monday, August 5th now. It's almost 1. I just got home from work. And look, there's a new fascinating background that is uh, my kitchen. Driving home was a little uh, stressful because they closed down the exit that I usually take to get home for world construction and I don't know how long that's gonna be a thing so I'm gonna figure it out 
but I wanted to say that I read some more Wilder Girls last night. Um, I'm on page, oh no, 189. So good progress. I definitely want to read some more of that um, today. Right now I'm about to um, eat this food that I picked up on the way home and relax a little bit. Watch some TV while I do that. And then um, I'm going to put makeup on and change my clothes and film my TBR for the month. Finally. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what all I want to get done today, but definitely that, and um, yeah, we'll see where it goes later. So I'm um, gonna, gonna go eat now. Okay, the lighting here isn't that bad, friends. It's now um, Wednesday, August the 7th, so I think it's been a couple of days. I don't really remember. I have updates. Um, I finished Wilder Girls last night, which I need to update all of the various progress tracker things about that. But, I have some thoughts. I did like this book. I have mixed feelings because when I started it, I read the first pages and I was like, I think I'm gonna like this because I really liked the writing style. And for like the first hundred pages, I was like savoring it. I was just like feeling the writing. It was great. But then the story started picking up. And then I had a conflict between like how slow the writing style wanted me to read and how fast I wanted to read to like get the story and the answers to the questions in the story. But I did like it, still processing it. I need to watch other people's reviews. I need to talk about this book with people. I'm really worried no one's gonna show up to my book club thing tomorrow. I think this would be another book that I would read again to like get another experience, maybe in a different mood, maybe not soon, but like, you know, in a year or so. Um, and I think I would also look to annotate it. Okay, I'm gonna talk about this another point later, but like I don't really annotate books. I see people do it and I think it's a cool idea because it makes your book like really your own book and that's cool, but also it kind of terrifies me to like do things to my books. My next options for books to start are Reign of the Fallen, The Evil Queen, Heartless, um, Waking the Witch, and A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which I really would like to get through Heartless since I already started, but we're still at that far in from before. Also, Waking the Witch did come into my library, so I've definitely got it in my possession, in my hand. And then lastly, haha, -ha, I got book mail. It's my book depository stuff, and I wanted to open it on camera. Although we might switch backgrounds for that, because there's not a real good setup here. So, hold on. All right, I'm gonna do the little one first, because it's easier to pick up. I think, I know which one is probably in here, because there were only two of them that were shipped alone. Yes, okay. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh, what does it say? Like this bookmark, I'm usually tucked into a book. <laughs> I love that the book depository always sends you like cute bookmarks. I think a lot of them that I have are currently like hidden away in books that I half read for school. But here's that bookmark. And there's my invoice, which you don't need to see that on the floor. Oh, $100 wine voucher. Don't drink alcohol, but a cool. And then we have Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. This is a graphic novel that's actually not in color, which I don't think I knew that. I ordered this from the internet. But I'm going to try to like it anyway. I've heard good things. Big boy package time. I need scissors. Okay, I opened it up upstairs could finish opening it here, maybe. We got bubble wrap. Ooh. Okay. We got the invoice. Alrighty. I'm just gonna like maybe set this down. Okay. So first I've got but Neath the Sugar Sky and In an Absent Dream, both by Sean McGuire. Um, this is the third and fourth book in the Wayward Children series, which I have not technically started. Uh, every Heart of Doorway is on my list for this month. But I got the first two books from Half Price Books, and these were both on the list for the book depository for the Reading Rush. So I was like, your girl's going to get them. I'm going to have the whole thing, and hopefully I'm going to love it, and it'll be great. And then I got Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Um, I don't know if you need me to tell you about this book. Everyone's talking about this book. Everyone seems to love this book. But in case you don't know, 
you I don't know why you wouldn't but in case you don't this is set in an alternate reality where the president of the United States is a woman and it's about her son who has a bit of a spat with the Prince of England and that's not very good for publicity so they fake a friendship which ends up turning into more then I have Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me by Mariko Tamaki which looks like it's mostly black and white with a little bit of color so we'll see how I like that um, it is about a girl who is dating a girl named Laura Dean who keeps breaking up with her. The relationship's kind of toxic and it's about her working her way through that and figuring out how she is as a person. I guess I should say it's a graphic novel before I start talking about color and things. Oh, huh, another cute bookmark. This one says, love books were on the same page. I'm really liking this watercolor vibe. Another wine voucher. Then I got American Street by Ibi Zoboy. I have her newer book, Pride, and I also have Black Enough, which she edited, but I've been looking at her first one. It's just like, well, my stayed at paperback everywhere else, but on the book list, it was actually just hardcover, so I was like, gotta pick this up. I know that this book deals with immigration, and I'm excited to delve into it at some point. And the last book I have in this box is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I read her first book, The Poet X, earlier this year. It was my first video that I posted. It was in verse. This one is not, but I'm still interested in it, and I think I just saw that it's been acquired for a movie. Also, y'all, this book is beautiful under the dust jacket. The main character wants to become a chef, so it makes sense that there's food on it. So that's my update for right now. I'm probably just gonna work on editing my TBR video tonight. I uh, filmed it, but haven't bothered to edit it because I've just been laying around the house when I get off work this week so far for some reason. <laughs> gonna try reading tomorrow and I'll update you then. Hello guys. I can't tell if you can see me that well because it's really bright, but I hope so. It's now Saturday, August 10th. It's like 11.36. I gotta be at work at one and I close today. So it's going to be a long day, but I wanted to give a little update. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I don't know how good this vlog is going to be. i got to start editing it, um, and I hope it's okay. We're going to hope it's okay, and it's kind of, it covers 11 days, so who knows. I had my book club for Wilder Girls. No one came. Again, I'm sad. Um, I don't think this is happening like across all the Barnes & Nobles, because I actually got a letter that said it was going pretty good. It's just that my store is like in the middle of this like touristy area, so we get a lot of tourists, and we're bad at community. Arthur, don't go down the stairs. Can you see him? He can't get back up the stairs, so that's a problem. I've been reading a little bit more of Heartless, but not a ton. I haven't been super in the mood to read. I've kind of been chilling on the media a bit, trying to like, cause I think I get oversaturated, and then I gotta chill for a while to get back into it. But right now I'm on page. Let's check it out. Um, 110. So I think I've read about 20 pages since I started reading again. Another thing I wanted to talk about that I meant to talk about earlier this week, but I was too sad the day I found out, and then the next day I get like anxious when I start vlogging, and I haven't vlogged in a while, and I'm like, oh, I have so many things to talk about, and then I forget something. But Toni Morrison died this week, as I'm sure a lot of you know, and I was very sad about it. Like, usually, that was a big bug. Celebrity deaths do not bother me. I'm kind of, I don't know them, like, they're, I'm sure it's sad to someone to a lot of people who know them and love them, but I usually don't. But I actually got very teary-eyed over Toni Morrison. They sent out a work email at the library and I opened it and I almost cried at work. Ugh. But I have read two of Toni Morrison's book before. I've read Beloved and Paradise. And I've always been telling myself, oh, I'm gonna get to her other books eventually, but they weren't like, hello friends, uh, my camera died. That's the first time that's happened to me, but my camera died. I knew the battery sign in the corner was getting low, but I guess I'm gonna have to learn like, what other things my camera tells me when it's really about to die but it's sunday now so this is the last day of this vlog and how i have to like start editing it so that's fun um but i was talking about tony morrison <laughs> and how i was sad and i'm not gonna go over that again because i'm sad but y'all don't need to hear this white girl talk about how she's sad about tony morrison but i did buy all 11 of her novels from waterstones um, I actually already own two. I own Beloved and Paradise, which I've had to read for my college classes before. I also own The Source of Self-Regard that I haven't read yet, but I do like the UK editions of her novels way better than the American ones, so I dished out that $26 for international shipping from Waterstones because Book Depository failed me a little bit. I guess, I don't know. I thought it said that they had them, and then I went back again, and they only had like two of them, and like, maybe everyone's buying them. I mean, I did check out a guy yesterday at work who was buying like all of them, and the holds on Toni Morrison at the library are getting heavy, because <laughs> she's dead, and we're all sad. So I'll probably do an unboxing when those get here. I'm not sure when. Um, they usually, they, most of them said that they would ship within one day. Some of them said a week, but I ordered them on a Friday, so they may not ship until Monday, because of business days. 
Um, so who knows how long it'll actually take them to get here, but when they do, I will do an unboxing and I'll talk more about my reading plans for them then. But right now, I got my last book depository book from the Reading Rush, so thought I'd open that for you guys. Hold it up here so you can see it. I don't know if you really care if you can see me opening it. But here we got the wine voucher. And then we have this a bookmark again. I think it's the same one that I already got the first time. It says, like this bookmark. I'm usually tucked into a book. I really like this design. And there's my invoice that you don't need to see. But the last book I got was I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. There's been a lot of talk about this book. It is about a non-binary teen named Ben who, when they come out to their parents, are kicked out of their home and go to live with their sister, I believe. And then they end up meeting this boy, whose name I don't know off the top of my head. But it's a love story, and it's probably heart-wrenching and cute at the same time. Kind of like autobiography. That's my guess. Haven't read it yet. Hoping to get to it, you know, eventually. That was me throwing the box on the floor. And then I have made more progress into Heartless. I think you can tell that the bookmark has significantly moved over. I'm on chapter 19 now. I really like this, and I really like the writing, because I love Marissa Meyer. Uh, she may be my queen. I'm just it's going really slow. I don't know why. I think I'm just kind of savoring it which isn't great right now for a readathon, but we'll get through it eventually. My parents are on the way here with some of my furniture. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video. I might have cut it out, but I'm living with my grandparents right now um, since I just got out of college and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. But hopefully, I'm not sure how much they fit in the trailer, but they might have bought my bookcases and some of my books. So maybe I can start filming my bookshelf organization video soon. So we'll see what happens. Maybe there'll be some footage of that stuff happening later. If not, this might be the last clip of this vlog. Maybe I'll see you again. Maybe I won't. <laughs>